did it begin to, to haunt you as something that you thought was possible that you were going to get caught, or did you, that didn't even, at a certain point, that didn't even occur to you? No, of course it does. Of course it does. And you just deal with it. How did you deal with it? That's the one of the, those are the mysteries of the human mind, I suppose. I, I, I don't think I can answer that question because I don't think I know. I got a call months later, um, and this, this was kind of a last minute thing. This was at the Waldorf Hotel. He showed up with this baseball cap on, like clearly trying not to be recognized. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> don't tell me it's that guy again. In that second meeting, I, you know, I was rather pushy with him. I was like, we're gonna sit and have a chit chat and have a nice little date here. And it ended up being a fun couple of hours. I thought it was Elliot Spitzer, you know, but I couldn't be absolutely sure. So I made a point to look out for him in the papers. And it was at that point that I said to the people who ran the agency, you know who this guy is, don't you? And they said, no. He was hiding. He didn't want anyone to know who he was. He was extremely paranoid. He knew that his entire political career was on the line. And ultimately, Vice just took over virtue. He could not control himself. I don't know. I just remember one time he was trying to book an appointment. And I just remember thinking to myself, I was like, this man is so paranoid. He is just going to attract a situation. You know, because he was just asking for it. It's like, listen, man, if you are so worried about what you're doing, don't do it. I mean, just getting a deposit from him was an issue. In order to book an appointment out of town, you had to pay up front. So he would have to go through sending these money orders in. And we're like, okay, why don't you just deposit X amount in the bank if you want to meet her by tomorrow and we're not going to receive payment by tomorrow. And he's like, I can't go to the bank. I never acknowledged who he was, but he, he knew that I knew. He started to request me. I saw him outside of New York in uh, Palm Beach, Puerto Rico, Dallas, Washington. He was always very guarded about what he would say. And I mean, I would insist on having a conversation before we started. I'm like, <laughs> I'm totally taking advantage of this because he's so smart and interesting. I would like have my little rants about what was wrong with New York City that needed to be fixed. And he, he listened. <laughs> 